to make a very, very big decision here. So before I kick this video off, guys, I just want to go ahead and say that, uh, number one, we had fun. Number two, things happen. And number three, um, the popping noise that you are going to hear throughout the video is actually my sway bar bushing. If you guys remember my inspection video from last year, uh, this actual uh, uh, end link or yeah, the sway bar bushing that has been on here has been broke for some time and I, I haven't been able to fix it. Um, just pure lazy. I haven't really had time. Um, you can tell it's definitely been rubbing on there for quite some time. It is beat up, it is used. So the popping noises that you guys hear are just going to be this axle. So with that being said, roll the footage for today. Wait, what? Wait, what? Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, I am Sended Steve and uh, today we're going to have some fun. It's going to be a little bit different content for you guys. I kind of said I wasn't going to bring the F450 ever up here off-roading, but today's the day. I figured I'd switch it up for you guys, kind of have some fun, and I hope you guys are ready to have some fun with me. So without further ado, we've got nothing but Jeeps around me. Got a uh, Wrangler, Wrangler, XJ, XJ, Wrangler, another XJ over here, and then the big old F450. Let's see what it does. Dang. Dang. <laughs> it climbed out with ease. Holy cow. It was dragging. Yeah, it was like touching the bottom a lot. That's actually impressive. I thought it was going to struggle. We are off to see what this bad girl will do. Now keep in mind guys, we're just out here having fun with this thing. I'm not going to try to go too, too crazy. We are obviously going to have fun and put it in some situations that probably no one else with an F450 would do, but you just got to keep in mind my wheelbase is long and I'm heavy. So I got to watch what I do and I got to pick and choose what I do. So let's get going.
smile. Everybody go down in the comment section and say smile. Got to make a very, very big decision here. I'm hoping once the tire hits that it pushes me where I need to be. Just like that. Oh, we got it. No body damage. No body damage yet. Man. These trails are definitely not for a big truck. So I got to figure out how to get back to better land because she's not liking this. Stopping the video right here to say smile. Everybody go down in the comment section and say smile.
guys and girls well i'm gonna actually go ahead and call it from now um obviously i came up here to get a thumbnail i'm not sure if the th this is a thumbnail that you guys are seeing but the truck did way better than i thought it was going to do we put it in some definitely some sketchy situations but i'm super proud of this truck i absolutely love it but it is time for me to get home and then i'll reveal some of the damages that we got so i'll pick back up back at the house Alrighty, guys and girls. Well, as you can tell, we are back home. Um, the truck did better than I thought it was going to with having, you know, some pretty bald tires on it. However, it didn't do as good as I wanted it to, but that's just because of track width. Um, this was sort of another reason why I didn't do anything crazy with the lifted Honda Civic project. It's why you didn't see the lifted Honda Civic go off-roading often, um, because doing tight corners and getting into places that we were at today is just super hard for something with a, a super wide wheelbase. Um, that is also why the uh, the Jeep down here is, I'm waiting to find some narrow axles to put under that, uh, one tons. So I'm not gonna do anything crazy uh, axle wise on the Jeep when we get that thing done. So it, I like the narrow track width. I like being able to zip in and out and go where I need to go. Um, these things are just too big for it. So uh, first things first. With <laughs> All right, and because this thing is so tall, um, we can jump up here. As you can see, we lost a cab light. Um, this damage is also already here. It's not really that big of a deal, but you can see in one of the footages, I'll see if I have it. If I do, I'll play it again real quick, but we ended up uh, catching a tree. It is what it is. We're gonna redo it all anyway, so cab light. All right, let's go underneath. The damage that I got from today, uh, when you come over here underneath, you can see that bar is actually bent. It took a pretty big hit which it is what it is i'm not upset about it obviously you guys do know that i knew i was going to get damaged from today so it is what it is i decided to do it for you guys because i want to see if you guys like this kind of content if you guys want me to beat up the f-450 a little bit i'll beat it up i'm not going to completely whistling diesel this thing but i will beat this thing up i will take it off roading and we will push it through its paces um second thing if you look at the running board you can see the running board is actually bent. Lucky for me, Rough Country actually has some running boards on their way. Uh, we'll get new ones tossed on here and uh, get it going there. So it's just the center bracket. Uh, you can tell here, it just got bent up pretty good. It is what it is. There's no actual damage underneath or anything. Um, also, this truck is stupid rust free under here. Oh, there's a lot of oil. Um, but yeah, so no damage underneath of it or anything. It just ended up bending this, and we actually couldn't get the door open. A uh, buddy of mine jumped on it with me. I jumped up front, he jumped in the back, and bent it back down into place. Now it leads over to the body damage, which you guys all knew was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen, you knew it was gonna happen. This was already here, so it wasn't really a big deal. I'm glad out of all the fenders and all the places that it hit, it hit this one. Lucky for me, there's really nothing. There's a little scratch right here, a uh, little little mark underneath here. And then like up here, there was actually like a couple marks. I'm not gonna touch it now because this is like sandy material, but you can see there are some scratches along it. It is what it is. I knew it was gonna get some kind of damage today. I got thankful and lucky that we survived with what we survived with. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and stay tuned, guys. If you guys want to see off-road videos, uh, let me know in the description down below. We will take this thing off-roading a lot more often. Um, I had fun. 
it's a little rough ride. Maybe we'll change up the wheel and tire combo to get more of a softer ride. The uh, 22.5s definitely give it a firm, firm ride off-roading. So let me know. Take care. We'll see you in the next one.